Next up on Forgotten Heroes, brace yourself for an all-new look at the Northwest Passage. Meet the experts. View never-before-seen footage not fit for human consumption. Witness the horrifying experience yourself in the lost story of Sir Elmore with an F. It began in the late days of 1898. What was intended to be one of the great achievements of mankind changed for the worst. A three-year-long ordeal of love, treachery, hatred, pity, heroism, deceit, failure beyond comprehension, angst, nervous breakdowns, and defecation. Sir Elmore with an F, an imaginative, obnoxious, stubborn man, gathered his 23, 23-year-old men and set out for the Northwest Passage. It would challenge the men's lives, strength, and ultimately, their bladder control. This is the lost story of Sir Elmore Withenef's attempted expedition of the Northwest Passage. It all began in late December when Sir Elmore Withenef and his crew finally set out. It took him not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six tries to set sail in his ship, the Incontinence. Without Sir Withenef's navigator, Alan Plunger, the crew would have been utterly lost. And so it began, the expedition in which the entire crew would regret ever leaving their home, without an ample amount of diapers and following Sir Elmore with an F in the first place. The expedition leader, Sir Elmore with an F, was an Irish sailor, voyager, and cashier, known for his persuasiveness and stubbornness. The goal of the expedition was to find the Northwest Passage, in which so many had failed to find before him. So with an F planned to set out in the incontinence and begin in the Baffin Bay, travel through the Beaufort Sea, through the Chuchki Sea, and finally the Bering Sea, which would take them to the Pacific Ocean. So with an F's plan was actually proven to be correct, but he ultimately failed due to the incompetence and incontinence of his crew. And so, so with an F set out. The crew of the Incontinence didn't make it very far in the Baffin Bay before running into problems. Choosing to leave in the middle of winter proved to be Sir Withenef's biggest mistake. <clears throat> On that fateful night in early January, just the beginning of the expedition, the Incontinence hit a storm. This would ultimately spell the end of Incontinence. January 7th, the incontinence shipwrecked, leaving Sir Elmer Wyvern F and his crew stranded on an island in the middle of winter with no communication to save them and no diapers. Sir Elmer Wyvern F and his crew brought a total of 12 sled dogs along for their journey, which ended up being far too few for the length of journey they were anticipating. The men attempted to trek across the island with their sled dogs, but everywhere they turned, it proved harder and harder to move with soiled underpants, ice, and snow blocking their way. Within the first 48 hours of being shipwrecked, Sir Elmore with an F and his crew had eaten all, all 12 of their sled dogs they had brought, believing it was their only food source. Oh, I am stuffed, man. B 
being trapped on the island in the dead of winter with no sled dogs proved to be an almost impossible task to escape the situation they were in. On January 25th, Sir Elmore with an F broke down in his diary about the mutiny that part of the crew had started. It wasn't too difficult for Sir with an F to defeat the mutinous crew, for only six men had been mutinous in the first place, and those six men had the worst bladder problem known to man. Sir with an F managed to piece together a makeshift shelter out of shipwrecked incontinence. He knew he couldn't stay and do nothing, so Sir with an F dared to do the impossible. On the 11th attempt, Sir Elmer Withenef had finally reached mainland. He and his men then trekked across the land to find civilization. After a month of traveling, Sir Withenef came into luck, coming across a small town of fishermen. Little did he know, Withenef and his men had actually only been a mere kilometer away from the town. But with no diapers and food, it made things just that much more difficult. After notifying the fishermen of the incontinence's shipwreck and the lack of diapers they had, they took them to the closest port in the Baffin Bay. At last, Sir Elmore Withenef had been safe. At this time, Sir Withenef and his crew, along with Canadian sailors, set out to save the other men. On August 24th, 1901, the crew left alive of the incontinence were saved. Sir Elmore with an F and his crew were greatly forgotten due to the massive failure their expedition turned out to be. Although Sir with an F never truly succeeded in finding the, the Northwest Passage, he was hailed by his men as a hero, at least the ones that were alive. About seven of the men and all of the dogs had died on the island due to hypothermia because of the lack of bladder control they had. Sir Elmore Withenef and his crew of the Incontinence will go down in history as the expedition that never was.